My first reaction when I heard that Levi would be awake during part of the brain surgery was very nerve-wracking. My biggest concern for the surgery was, prior to the surgery, we had found out that one of his nerves for his vision runs through the tumor. So Dr. Kina had explained that part of his peripheral vision could be lost during the procedure, which it was, um, but at the time, not knowing how much of it was gonna be affected, that was my biggest concern, was if he was gonna lose his vision, and if he did, how much of it would be gone. When I think about my situation, it was kind of hard to wrap my brain around it. With the evolution of modern anesthetics, we'll have a patient like Levi asleep at the beginning of the surgery, and within minutes of turning off the anesthesia drugs, he'll be awake and talking to us. So Levi awoke on cue, um, and we were able to get him speaking fluently to our neuropsychologist, Dr. Nancy Watson, as we stimulated parts of the brain to try to identify if I take out this part of the brain with tumor in it, is that going to affect speech? And where exactly is speech um, on Levi's brain? Um, and he did a fabulous job participating with us the whole time. And at the end, we didn't actually need to put Levi back to sleep. He stayed awake through the entire um, end, uh, closing him up and rolling him to the ICU. So Levi went back home um, within two days, and then he was back to kind of normal activities within a week or two. Um, so Levi's been pestering me since day number one, when can he get back on his dirt bike? And uh, when can he get back to all the outdoor activities he wants to do? Because he's not necessarily affected by the amount of anesthetic he got. We were able to do a very precise surgery because we mapped it awake, so the recovery is phenomenal. The summer was great. Um, Levi was able to take a beach trip to ride his new dirt bike that he got as well as enjoy the, the pool and just riding bikes and hanging out with friends and family. Completely back to normal. Back to normal 12-year-old boy.